Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We are reading your person's current energies, current feelings towards you. All right, so let's begin. Again. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and supported my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. All right, and this reading is good for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If it resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and please comment down below how it resonated for you. Also, if it doesn't resonate, you can check out the readings for your other signs. Okay, Gemini, your person's overall energy overall feelings towards you is the ten of wands all right i'm sorry for the dogs barking outside if you hear that okay hmm okay could be dealing with another gemini or a libra a cancer okay I want to adjust it. Just give me a few seconds. I want to adjust this. Okay. Gemini, your person's current, the challenge of your person for this month is the Three of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, all right? But there is third party energy in, involved in this reading. I'm picking that up very strongly. Third party doesn't always mean that the person is cheating. If it is, this is something you already know, but usually other than that, a third party me a third party energy means your person has you or your person has uh, prioritized a, another energy over your your um relationship it could be ambitions it could be money it could be work family friends or someone else you know but this is something you already know and i'm just picking up all the energies all right your overall energy, or I mean your person's overall energy, is the Ten of Wands. I'm hearing your partner or your your person is feeling a lot of heavy baggage. A lot of heavy baggage. And I know you feel this too. I know you feel this too. There's a lot of heavy baggage here. Um, they want to move forward, you know. They really want to move forward but the thing is they have to go with all that heavy baggage for them to move forward they cannot keep on carrying that they have to let go of that it doesn't mean that your rela the relationship has to end but it means there are things that you have to let go to move forward with the relationship so you have the chariot card to the king of swords very strong gemini energy so you are very present king of swords that is very much your energy and then the lover's card okay so there's a lot of movement forward a lot of movement forward um this is something that you plan to do that you've really been planning to do how are you going to move forward with your person no 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 how is your person moving going to move forward with you how 
how is your person gonna move forward with you? They've really been thinking that. They've really been thinking that. Um, they want this to be successful. That's why they plan. They plan a lot, all right? So Gemini, your person, you are very much um, present in your, in your person's energy. They think about you a lot. All right, a lot could be at a distance. Could your person or you could be, you know, well, you could be different cultures, different at, at a distance, long distance. That's why there's a travel card here. And the King of Swords is usually someone from a foreign land, someone at a distance. All right. You know, you're very much in your person's energy. Your person really wants to move forward with you. Your person really wants this relationship to be successful. Okay? You could be dealing with someone who is your soulmate, divine counterpart. This person has a lot of love for you. And you have a lot of love for them. I'm sensing that. Your person could be... You or your person could be very isolated from each other. Alright? This is a card of isolation. The nine of... Nines are about isolation. Alright? Um, your person is very much focused on their job on their finances, on their stability. There's a lot of love here, you know? And I'm hearing this person, your person really wants to work on their money because they wanna provide the kind of life that you deserve or the both of you deserve. Maybe that's the third party energy here. It's the job. It's the money. Because I'm sensing it, but it's not really cheating. But if it's something about that, then this is something you already know. Alright? You have the Justice card and the Lovers. I do think that you realize that you, this is your person. This is your the one. You could be dealing with a twin flame, a soulmate, someone with a very deep soul connection, deep soul tie with you. Alright? You have the justice card here. There's a legality. There could be marriage involved. Maybe this per maybe your person wants to tie things in a legal sense with you. I take it how it resonates. But I'm I'm sensing that very much. I'm sensing that very much. Okay. What is the overall outcome of your person? Hmm. The overall outcome of your person is the five of wands, the the Five of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Swords. I'm hearing your person has been really, really working hard to a point of exhaustion. There's a lot of competition at their work, at their job. They're really tired. They're really tired. They're having sleepless nights. person is really really focused on their work
What is the advice of spirit for you while you wait on your person? Spirit's advice for you is the Three of Cups, the Judgment card, and then the Three, the Seven of Wands, all right? Okay, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, okay? But advice of spirit is number one, stop triggering your person. Stop, stop. Stop triggering your person, all right? Um, judgment. Judgment is a call card. Stop judging your person too much. Stop judging your person too much, okay? Because of that, they are judging themselves. So stop judging your person too much. They're already feeling a lot of pressure. They're already really already feeling. <laughs> oh my god, they're already feeling a lot of pressure. So stop judging them. Stop pressuring them. Stop judging them. All right, support them. They need your support, Gemini. Your person needs your support. All right, let's cap off your reading with some oracle cards. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Worth waiting for. All right. And then you can ask a question in your head and we'll ask your angels. This could be about your angels could um, give you a definite yes or no answer. It could be about timing and it could be about something else. All right. So. You can pause your you can pause this video if you haven't ha you don't have a question in your head or haven't made up your mind about what question to ask but let's see So you have romance Whatever it is in your head you have to look at romance And then see angel wisdom of the oracle by colette baron reed you have building blocks building blocks that is number 28 when you reduce it 2 plus 8 is 10 that is you know the number of endings and new beginnings number 10 so you have building blocks. Relationship message. When you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have by building them on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. You are moving you are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with a firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. All right, that's beautiful. So that's all I have for you, Gemini. I hope something in this reading resonated. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd love it if you were subscribed to my channel, so please do. All the readings on my channel are completely free for everyone. I love you all. See you in the next reading and stay blessed.